In San Diego's worst serial killer, a man who sent shockwaves throughout the county back in the late 70s and early 80s. And tonight, a new ruling has the victim's families hoping that justice will finally happen after decades of waiting. 10 News reporter Preston Phillips live downtown in Preston. Does this mean he'll now be put to death? Well, I take it the state hasn't carried out an execution in more than eight years, and tonight experts tell me they don't think Lucas, who was sentenced here downtown in 1989, will be executed anytime soon either, if at all, even though the state Supreme Court ruled his death sentence was entirely appropriate. David Allen Lucas was sentenced to death in September 1989 for killing two San Diego women and a three-year-old child. Lucas walked for three other horrific killings he was suspected of carrying out. 10 News was in court on the days the serial killer, who was known for slashing the throats of his unsuspecting victims, was convicted and sentenced. These families were devastated, and it is so difficult putting yourself in their shoes. 10 News reporter Steve Fiorina sat through the entire trial and had extensive contact with the victim's families. He even interviewed Lucas before he was ever a suspect, just hours after he had committed one of the heinous acts. His attitude, he just was so calm. It was a day at the park for him, and it was 10 or 12 hours after he cut the throat of a woman and left her to die. Now, 25 years after Lucas's death sentence was handed down, a lengthy appeals process to get it reversed has failed. Thursday, the state Supreme Court finalized a lengthy ruling, stating in part, defendant is not entitled to reversal of his judgment. The judgment is affirmed. I don't think it means very much. I think it means the defendant is in limbo like everyone else on death row. And we reached out to Lucas's attorneys tonight who just declined an on-camera interview but told us numerous issues are yet pending and will be addressed in further ongoing litigation. We're reporting live tonight downtown. Preston Phillips, 10 News. All right, Preston. Meantime, the state will appeal a federal ruling that called the death penalty unconstitutional. A U.S. district judge ruled that decades-long delays and uncertainty about whether inmates will be executed violates the Constitution's ban on cruel or unusual punishment. Only 13 of the more than 900 people sentenced to death in California have actually been executed.